kid can express himself mathematically, it is so important and particularly in today's time. We're helping them build their foundation in math and they're using those skills that the concepts get harder and harder and more complex. It's fun to learn. I think it's easier to learn and because you enjoy it. The greatest satisfaction is when I hear a kid say I love math. I mean that really makes my day. Part of mathematics is learning to represent reality with symbols. So you have to be able to learn how to use symbols to represent reality, and you have to learn how to solve problems through the use of symbols. I like to say in the science department that science is everywhere, but after I've been in the math department now, I realize that really math is everywhere. Math can explain things in the most beautiful of ways, and it's a gas to teach math to kids. It's so much fun for me to talk about Crane's math program because it's really an extraordinary program and it's blossomed kind of dramatically over the last couple of years at the school. One thing we're thrilled to have is this new program, it's called the Singapore Math Program. We always are reviewing different aspects of Crane's curriculum, but a couple of years ago we looked at math programs, we looked at schools throughout the country and arrived on the Singapore Math Program. Now Singapore math is a really different program than everyday math or some of the more conventional American textbooks. It's very conceptual, it's very high level. Over the last two or three years we've invested in it and our teachers are embracing it and starting to see the sort of positive aspects of Singapore math. I think what's different about teaching math using the Singapore method is that we're not just working out of a workbook crunching numbers all the time. It's a lot more experiential, it's helping kids dig deep, going simple and then, and then working up really quickly to more abstract understanding of it. Singapore math is especially great in kindergarten and first grade because we focus on starting with the concrete and then moving to the abstract. We really focus on having a meaningful context for the students, making problems as relevant to their life as possible. They really have a great time doing math that feels meaningful to them. We do a lot of visual math, so um, when I was in sixth grade, we always went out and we went on a walk and we measured the distance between um, a lot of different trees and um, poles and buildings at Crane and um, it helped us learn how to do math in like the real sense, not just in a classroom. We're really trying to open kids' eyes up to not be scared about solving problems. It's a collaborative experience where it's okay to try different ideas when you're solving problems, to try different approaches, and they're so much more comfortable in math class. Some workbook work, it's some group work, it's some partner work, it's talking a lot. And we know kids learn so much more by telling somebody else about what they've learned and becoming a teacher in a, in a matter of speaking. Wait, oh. it's 190, it's actually 187. Because I got 191, but we thought this was 160. Okay, so now you have 36 and 36, which is how much? 72. And plus your extra? Eight. And so 80. 80. We don't want them to go through a delightful struggle. And once they go through that struggle, I, I, I think ultimately they enjoy it more and they actually learn it better than if, as a teacher, we just basically gave them the answers or, or held their hand through the problem solving process. But they're, they're never going to give you the answer. They, like, you have to figure it out on your own. You have to keep working out the problem until you get the answer because otherwise you won't learn how to do the problem. We're really building the foundation for being able to do more complex problem solving. And I think that's what Singapore Math does so beautifully. Singapore Math empowers students to approach a problem however they see fit and really give them ownership. I see a school like Crane that has adopted the Singapore Math approach over time will end up having students more and more ready to move ahead with concepts of algebra and get much more out of the course than a student who is spending a lot of time trying to figure out the arithmetic. If I have zero, we have ten. If I have six, we have four. If I have seven, we have three. I think kids more and more are being less fearful of math and, and really able to embrace it for and see the beauty of it. In the lower school, the work that they're doing there with the Singapore Math Program, their understanding of uh, fractions and their understanding of decimals is better. And then what that means is when they come to us in the upper school and we're using fractions and we're using decimals in an algebraic equation or uh, we're doing more advanced percent problems, it's not a big hurdle. We don't have to go back to the computation. 
can really see their minds working. You can see the gears, you can see the cogitation, you can see them thinking about it, and then the lights come on in ways that you never see in lots of other classes. Maybe that's just a bias I have about teaching math, but they get, there's a lot of, oh yeah, I get that now, I see that. Experiential learning and a hands-on approach is a, is a big emphasis here at Crane. Crane has some extraordinarily fine math educators. In the upper school, we have two full-time math teachers. Doug McKenzie has been here 24 years. He's Stanford educated. He's been the head of the department, and he's truly an extraordinary uh, math educator. He's coupled with Mr. Richard Downey. Uh, Richard's only in his second year at the school, but he's taught at a number of other independent schools. He's a professional. He's had a, a, a lovely career, and even in the short time he's been at Crane, he's won a number of awards. So we really are blessed to have two extraordinarily fine math teachers. All of our lower school teachers have been trained in the Singapore method. Um, most of them have been to two or three workshops over the last couple of years. We have a lower school math specialist named Peter Glenn. The role of a lower school math specialist takes on a kind of unique possibility because they work with our existing teachers and they basically teach them how to be math teachers. Who thinks they could add all those nine? Solving problems with a computer and using programming language, they use mathematical concepts but there's lots of room for right answer. There's lots of creativity and they take pride in how they've solved the challenge. But some of the stuff we use with power tools and computer analysis and thermometers and different probeware, that gives number kind of a little thicker, a more tangible handle. We go outside a lot measuring stuff using GPSs to graph coordinates and doing more stuff in the real world than any other class. Crane makes math fun because they have problems and projects that relate to kids and we just finished a project about basketball and a lot of kids in my class love basketball and I do too. We had fractions of how many games a team won and how many games they lost and we had to convert that into a percentage and it was sort of hard but I liked it anyway. No, morning math is a, uh, is a fun activity, uh, math, hands-on math activities that I do every Thursday morning. Yes. Good job, Sammy. Nice work. And uh, I seem to have a good regular group of kids. I think of math a lot of times as, as giving kids a toolkit. You know, they have their, their toolbox and they have a lot of different little tools that they use for tackling problems, different strategies and approaches. We don't believe that there's any one way to solve any particular problem. There may be many different approaches. The 7th and 8th graders meet with me in the mornings. We start in September and we're preparing for a contest called Math Counts, which is a national contest. We take eight students down uh, in February uh, on a Saturday and we compete against other schools. We got prepared for it. We did the group activities, started working as a team, choose the group leader, stuff like that to prepare us. And he also, he taught us fun things that we can use in the future about math, not only for the contest, but in our life. One of the nice things about any program at school is sort of seeing positive results um, sort of as the fruits of your labor, as seeing um, wonderful things start to happen. And uh, when you change a whole curriculum and you sort of retailer a school, you don't see the results right away. It takes a couple of, it takes a couple of years till you start seeing the power of a new program. And that's exactly what's happening with Singapore Math and Math at Crane. We are sort of seeing our students placing in, in high classes in high school and thriving in those classes. We are a highly selective school, so we often get a number of the strongest students from Crane. Um, and what we find, in addition to just their natural ability, they're, they're well taught, but they're so verbal, they're so comfortable explaining topics to each other. They've not been schooled in rote learning just memorization, so they love to argue, they love to debate, they love to prove things, so it's that curiosity that probably stands out. I've been here for two years, but when I was in third grade and second grade, I was notorious for not liking math. Everybody knew I did not like math, even though I was pretty good at it. And then when I came to Crane, I understood math better and I liked it a lot better here at Crane. That, that's what it's all about at the end of the day, is really how the children, you know, not only are learning, but really enjoy the process of learning, particularly in mathematics. 
It's the best part of my job when you see that light bulb go off and you know that they understand exactly what they're doing um, as opposed to me saying do it this way and that's hands down my favorite part about teaching math. The standardized tests we take usually there's eight or nine subtests usually two of them are focused on math and out of all of our subtests math have steadily risen and now are our strongest areas of the school. The teachers care, the teachers very competent, so whereas some students will come in and be very passive or a little bit intimidated, the Korean kids jump in right from the start and would love to be involved in class. And I think we do a really good job at it. If you look at kids that leave our math department and graduate on to other things, we've had kids that have become engineers, doctors, attorneys, people that use math in all different kinds of ways. Even someone who's come back recently and said, I'm a math teacher. So they actually came and actually did well. It's a lovely thing to be able to do.